Tonight with a controversial retail development on the site of Georgetown Township's Little League Complex. It's a development that will not happen. Spartan stores dropping plans to build a new family fair grocery on that site. 24-hour news eight's Joe Lafergi is working the story live now from Jenison. Joe? Yeah, Susie, no joy in Jenison for the players who thought they'd be taking part in games on a brand new set of fields in just a couple of years. But as for those opponents, they say while they are claiming victory today, the game is not over. Ball players expecting to take to a new field in 2011, and grocery shoppers expecting a produce aisle along what's now the third baseline may be disappointed. Plans to build a new retail complex, including a $9 million family fair grocery store on Georgetown Township's current Little League site, and move ball players to a new developer funded $5 million complex. Have been canceled. Shoppers and ball players may be disappointed, but Michael Pearson isn't. We're ecstatic, really. I mean, it's a, it's a victory for us. We think it's a victory for Georgetown Township as well. We're surrounded here by neighborhoods. There's churches on on both sides of the the ball fields. So it's, we, f we really feel it's not the place for a development of this size. Pearson leads a group called Citizens for Fair Planning, and they oppose the project. After some nasty battles and the filing of a lawsuit to try to block zoning for the grocery store, members of Pearson's group were able to bring the controversy to a vote set for next August. What role did their efforts play in the decision to cancel the project? I do believe that we had an effect on it, um, but you certainly can't discount where we're at with regard to the economy and that larger discussion. Much of that may be true. Spartan spokesperson Gene Norcross told 24 Hour News 8 there were several reasons developers dropped the plan. Residents opposition and economic conditions were among them. The company released a statement saying, in part, because we respect and value the residents of Georgetown Township and want to continue to serve them as a neighborhood supermarket and business partner, we believe it's best to look at other options, end quote. While the plan's dead, the controversy may not be over. Pearson says his group still has concerns about future development proposals for that site. We still are going to remain together as an organization and make sure, first and foremost, that development does not happen here. And as for the Little League, well, it looks like those kids will be playing on some familiar fields for the time being. The president of the Georgetown Little League tells me that well, he's disappointed they'll do the best they can. About 1,500 kids involved in that program. Back to you.